Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about app actions in mobile and how you can use the app maker dashboard to implement different actions. First of all, what are actions? Actions is the way of allowing your users to deep link to perform a specific activity in your app. I will explain you each action in much more detail after a little while. Before that, let me show you what type of actions you can perform using the App Maker dashboard. One, open web view. Second, open product. Third, open product by category. Fourth, open URL. All these actions will be shown to you in detail in the later sections. Apart from these actions, you can also open a product by tag or open a post category, open another in-app page in the app itself, open a particular post or page or blog, etc. Use currency switchers, open a complete vendor list, use language switchers in case your app is in different countries, open swap in chat, which is a live chat feature in the app, or give no action at all. Let me show you each action in detail. If you have a page that is there on your website, but not in the app, and you want to show that web page in your app, it can be easily done using your app maker dashboard. Let me show you an example. I have created an about us page in the website, and I want to show it in the web view in my app too. I created a menu item called About Us. When I click on Edit, on the right side of your screen, you'll see a couple of options where you can add an action. In this, I choose a web view and then put in the URL of the web page that shows About Us. Once done, click on Update and then click on Save. To view it on your app, you can either upload the bundle file in the app ties to preview it or for Android users you can download the .apk file. Let me show you how it will be visible in the Android file. The web view of a page, I click on menu and scroll down to see about us option. When I click on that, you can see that the page will now be viewed and displayed in a web view. You want to add a URL to your app, say for example of an external website. You can do that easily using the App Maker dashboard again. Let me show you an example. Here I have added a menu item called videos. I want to add the URL of YouTube to this section. When you click on this, you'll get a couple of options on the right side. In my action, I am going to opt for open URL. And then I'm going to add the URL of the YouTube channel that I want. Once done, click on update and then click on save. I'll show you how the preview of this URL will look like in your app. preview of the app in my Android phone. Let me show you how it looks like. I click on menu and go to videos. Since I have put the URL of a YouTube video, it redirects me to the YouTube video and this is how it shows. You can redirect your users to a different in-app page. Here, if you see on the left side of the screen, I have created an in-app page called Offers. I want to redirect my users to this in-app page when they want to know about the different offers in the store. For this, I created a menu item called Offers.
as you can see. When I click on this button called edit, on the right side of your screen, you can see an action. In the action, I chose open in app page and then gave the name of the page as office. Since there are two in-app pages, instead of home, I gave offers as an in-app page. Once done, click on update and then click on save. Let me show you how it shows in the preview. As you can see, this is the preview on my Android phone. When I click on menu, you can see a menu item called offers. Click on that and this is another in-app page that comes. You can see the different offers and sale banners and then click on any one to get all the products available. Another action item can be where if your user clicks on a banner or on a grid item or say for example a menu item when they click on it a product should open let me show you an example when I click on this banner a product called sneakers should open on the right side of your screen you can see an action click on open product action and then choose which product you want it to open I'm going to choose men's fashion sneakers breathable casual shoes which represents this shoe in the banner. Click on it and then click save. Let me show you how it will show in the app. As you can see on your screens we have added open product action to the banner. I click on the banner for shoes and it opens to the product. You will get all the description and two options of whether to add the product to your cart or buy now. Another action item can be to open a product category. As you can see, I have added a few grid options for categories. The categories include beauty, shoes, bags, different types of watches, etc. When I click on beauty, all the products for beauty should appear. On the right side of the screen, I'll choose the action as open product by category. Since the name of this category is beauty, I'm going to choose beauty as my category and then click on save. Let me show you how it will show in the app. This is the preview of the app in the Android phone. I choose on beauty as a category. And now it will display all the products of the beauty category. If you have a couple of products of either same or different category that belong to say for example 25% sale offer, you can add all those products to a single tag, say for example sale. Let me show you how to do it. This banner should contain all the products that sell in 25% offer sale. As an action, I will choose open category by tag. I have created a tag called sale in my WordPress dashboard and then choose that tag here. Once done, click on save. Let me show you how it will be shown in the app. This is the offers page. As you can see, we had added the tag sale to this banner. Let me click on this banner 
and you will see the products that have sale. Among the indefinite actions that you can add from your AppMaker dashboard, one is to add the post category. For example, I have added a menu item called blogs. In this, as an action, I chose post category, which will open all the blogs for the fashion category. You can choose whichever blog post you want or any post category that you wish to be shown in your app. Once done, click on save and it is ready to be reviewed in your app. All this is done in real time. Let me show you how it will be shown in the app. To show the post category in your app, click on menu and then click on blogs. You'll see the variety of blogs that you have added in your website right in your app. Instead of adding all the blogs in a, in a single section called blogs, say for example, I want to add each blog differently inside the blog section. For example, I added a section called floral dresses that only includes a blog about floral dresses. So in the action, I put open post or page. Now it can either be a blog like I mentioned here or it can be any page as you wish. I chose the post or the blog that I want to show when the user clicks on this blog. Once done, click on update and then click on save. And it is ready to be viewed in your app. Let me show you how it looks in your app. Show the blog post in the app. I click on menu and then I click on blogs. From the two blogs, you can select any one that you want. Here, I select floral dresses. This will show me the blog post of floral dresses that it takes from the website. If I have a store for shoes, and say for example, my store is available in a couple of other countries as well. It will be easier for my customers if they could view the price of the shoe in their local currency. In that case, what I am going to do here is add a menu item called change currency and then choose the action as currency switcher. When you do this, you can add as many types of currencies as you want from your AppMaker dashboard in Update app. Once done, just click on Update and then click on Save. Let me show you how it will be shown in the app. To get different currencies, click on Menu and then click on Change Currency. As I have added only one currency here, you can see only US dollar, but you can add different options as per you. If your app is available in different countries and you want your users to be at ease of accessing that app in their own lo local language, it can be done easily by adding change language option. In the menu item, I have added a change language option. Click on edit and choose the action as language switcher. Add as many languages as you want in your settings and your update app and all the languages will be visible to your users. Click on update and then save. It will now be shown in the app. Let me show you how it will look like. I have added a couple of options for language. Click on menu and then click on change language. You'll see the options available here.
If you want to tell your users about the different vendors that sell products in using your store, you can do that easily. Using the AppMaker dashboard, I created a menu item called Store List. In this, I added the action as Open Vendor List. After doing that, just click on Update and then click on Save. Using this menu list, I am going to display different products by each vendor that sell products using my app. Let me show you how. To view the vendor list in your phone, click on menu and then click on store list. In this list, I have listed out all the vendors that sell products using my store. Click on any vendor and you will see all the products sold by that vendor. You can add a built-in live chat feature to your app wherein your users will be able to interact with you directly. I have added a menu item called chat with us. When clicked on it, you can choose the option action as opens open chat. It is a built-in live chat feature. Once done, click on update and then click on save. Let me show you how it will work in the app. To use the live chat in your app, you need to make sure that it is integrated in the website as well. Click on live chat and it will redirect you to the Zopim chat. Leave a message if you want or chat directly.